Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be discussing normal saline, okay, for wound cleansing. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So let's get started. So what is normal saline or sodium chloride? It is a mixture of salt and water. Normally it's a 0.9% solution because this is what is found in blood and tears, okay? So it's the same amount of salt as we have in our body, in our own blood, in our own tears, which makes it an isotonic solution, okay? So it's very powerful. We can use this without, um, it disrupting really anything because it's it's equal amounts of salt so it doesn't cause any damage okay so it's isotonic um so it can be used for an array of scenarios from clearing your sinuses um wound cleansing and rehydrating the body so um if you've ever gone into the hospital with extreme dehydration or know somebody who has had extreme dehydration they run a bag of fluid that is your normal saline, okay? Your 0.9% um, solution of salt water. So why is saline the preferred wound cleanser? So for one, it's non-toxic, it's isotonic solution, which means it does not cause damage to healing tissues, okay? Um, a lot of people believe that alcohol and peroxide are the best products to clean wounds with. However, this is definitely not the case. They are highly toxic to our tissues, um, resulting in irritation and delayed wound healing. Um, so alcohol is best used for sterilizing any instruments that we need to use, okay? Um, so tweezers to remove splinters, anything like that, it's great for, but not on our personal tissues. Um, we just want to use a mild soap and water to clean a wound if necessary, um, if you don't have saline, um, or you can if you need an antiseptic because it was, um, it, it seems as if it was contaminated, dirty, whatnot, um, you can use a chlorhexidine-based solution or a povidone iodine based solution which has less tissue toxicity than the peroxide or alcohol okay but preferred method is saline because it is non-toxic and isotonic it does not damage healthy tissues so you can actually make normal saline at home okay right at home so you can do this by boiling one cup of water and one half teaspoon of salt for 15 minutes. So you wanna boil it for 15 minutes and you ideally want to make this daily when using it in wound care um, because you don't want any microorganisms introduced. Now, when I say we can make this solution, we are only using this for wound care, okay? Do not use it for anything else. Um, I mean, you could you could clean your, your nasals with this too, um, but we're not using this to inject into us for any means whatsoever. I'm stating just to use this for wound care. That is all. Um, so you must use the saline at room temperature, okay? If it's too hot, too cold, it is going to do damage to the tissues, okay? And as it is already, when we cleanse a wound, it already takes about four up to eight hours to get to healing temperatures. We want it to be room temperature, so we're not affecting it ever more. <clears throat> so steps to cleaning your wound. So I've included five steps here, how to clean your wound. So first you're going to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. We're gonna remove any debris um, using either tap water, as long as the tap water is potable drinking water, okay? Um, if not, do not use tap water. Um, if you can drink it, you can use it on a wound. 
um, or saline, okay? So if the wound is visibly soiled, you're going to use a chlorhexidine-based disinfectant. Um, Irampovidone iodine is perfectly fine, okay? So that's a 1% iodine solution, povidone iodine. Um, and then for any other um, dressing changes after this, you're going to gently cleanse with mild soap and water or saline solution um, and just rinse it thoroughly. Um, and then when you're done rinsing a wound, you want to pat it dry. We don't want to rub it. We just want to pat it dry. Okay. Um, and we're going to clean from the inside. So the wound outward. Okay. Cause we don't want to spread any microbes back into the wound. Okay. We just cleanse it. We want to keep them out. So always from inside out. So when to be using a wound dressing. So new data has shown that moist wound healing is optimal healing, okay? Previously, we thought, oh, let it um, air out, form a scab. We do not want scabs on wounds. We now know that this creates a longer healing time, okay? We want to keep it moist and prevent any debris from becoming lodged in the wound. So you want to keep all wounds covered um, in a moist wound environment. Um, you do want to consult a healthcare professional if you have any of the following. So a deep wound, a uh, wound that is not bleeding, if it has necrotic, um, if it looks necrotic. So that's either like blackening, browning, yellowing tissue of the wound, um, you want to be seeking um, a healthcare professional. If it's near an eye, um, if you haven't received a tetanus booster in the last 10 years, um, or if it was heavily contaminated in the last five, um, or if the person is immunosuppressed, you want to be seeing a healthcare professional for any wounds. So I hope this video gave you a better idea of um, why we should be using normal saline to clean wounds, um, why it is really the, the best thing we can use over, over anything else for cleansing a wound because it is non-toxic. Um, it's equal to your tissues already. It's not going to cause irritation. Um, so that's, so that's really all I have for this video, guys. Um, I hope to catch you in my next one.